December 1st, Tuesday, back from my day off, or actually up at the uh, ESD 189, giving a OER uh, summit speech. Notice it's day 60 already. Can you believe a third of the school year has gone by? Well, let's see how you did on your, uh, in your task yesterday uh, in terms of did you finish your Newzella articles? Did you click turn in? Um, and how did that go? And also, did you prepare for the 60-second talk? Uh, what does a good 60-second talk look or sound like? So we're actually going to put it off um, to about halfway through the period after we brainstorm uh, what a good 60-second talk would look like, uh, what it would be for the speaker and the listener. Uh, make sure we have that fresh in our head so when we deliver, we actually do it well. Wednesday. Time to move in a new direction. Our 60-second talks are over. Uh, and one thing I wanted you to note was um, if you're a Minecraft person or maybe you want to become a Minecraft person, check out We Are the Rangers. Uh, it's a free world that's built to uh, address some of the current concerns on extinction and endangered species, and it's a, you know, a fun way to expand your Minecraft experience. Uh, if you haven't guessed it yet, uh, you need to know something about pathogens. Uh, we want to get you exploring cells alive and making sure you can operate a microscope so next week when your pathogens arrive, you can actually look at some of them. Uh, actually, they're not really pathogens. They're other microbes that are non-pathogenic. Uh, I wanted you to point out uh, vocabulary tips with read and write. Don't forget about read and write, and don't forget about uh, Quizlet's uh, audio tools. In either case, if you launch those tools, um, you can hear how words are pronounced. You can have things read, read to you. And I know that can be challenging in science when you try to read something you can't pronounce. Uh, first up, cells alive. I wanted you to be aware of it in case we didn't get to it yesterday. Uh, it's a great place to explore bacteria and compare how they result to, or they uh, check out how they compare to your cells. Uh, the fungus tank is ready to be sealed. Any other? additions to the tank. Uh, we're going to let it grow, so we'll seal it up, uh, make some predictions, and see whether or not they come true over time. Uh, a germ theory, a TED-Ed germ theory video on the history of germ theory, followed by Horton Hears a Who, uh, the original Dr. Seuss cartoon, uh, from the point of view of uh, a scientist and the trials and tribulations that people have gone through, especially scientists and educated people throughout time, uh, trying to get people to establish new ideas. Uh, people tend to hang to their beliefs even to the point of death. And uh, Horton kind of gives us an example of what that's like. And then uh, your microscope uh, introduction. Uh, we're gonna, you need to make sure you can master the microscope uh, before the microbes come. Uh, so we have a whole set of tools for you to, to learn about microscopes. Thursday, December 3rd. Who are the Who's? Uh, if you didn't recognize them, uh, Horton Hears a Who is the launching cartoon for Dr. Seuss and some of these characters. And in it, you would have caught the cameo of the Who's and the Grinch. And yes, this is where the Grinch that stole Christmas comes from. Think about the Who's on the dust spec. And in, this, in the Grinch Christmas version, they live on a snowflake. Um, similar outcomes as we've seen. Uh, this time to get there, uh, I've got two Quizlet sets on bacteria, or viruses and bacteria for you to study with, including uh, a microscope video and handout when you're ready uh, to learn more about microscopes. Make sure you can pass that quiz before you get the chance to work with microscope. All right, Friday, December 4th. How long have humans had microscopes? Uh, debatable question leads into our SciShow microscopes episode, but the uh, most common answer is since about 1590. And the awareness that a grading period, another six week grading period ends today, and your grades will be sent off in the mail. Uh, assignment number 32 on Classroom is what today is all about. Uh, if you look there, there are resources on uh, microscopes aplenty. Uh, the SciShow episode, the handout we've used in class for notes. Um, we'll play Kahoot today if you so choose. Uh, there's also a short video on how to operate a microscope as well as an interactive uh, virtual microscope from BrainPop. Uh, 
use any or all of those to make sure you can master the microscope. Uh, quiz is there to be taken anytime you're ready and uh, just make sure you get it taken by the middle of next week, say by Tuesday before the microbes come. Uh, Monday, November 30th, you start the week off with a substitute. So make sure you're good. Uh, no understand do's. Uh, again, back with knowing what pathogens are, how they affect humans. And you are going to give a 60 second talk to a small group uh, at your table on a bacteria topic. So the lesson plan for the day. Uh, Newzella articles, which is assignment number 28. Uh, just want to get a feel for uh, your uh, reading skills and whether or not you've been on Newzella and you can navigate and do all those sorts of things. So it's just a, kind of a precursor to what's to come. And you're going to prepare for a 60 second talk, which you're going to give tomorrow. Uh, if you go to assignment number 30, uh, there is a spreadsheet that has by period. Make sure you go to the bottom and look at the periods. Click on your period, you'll see which topic uh, you have assigned to you and which other people have the same topic and you can work together or apart to prepare to give a 60 second talk on your topic. And that's the plan.